Hey, so welcome to the Wine Decoder Bathtub Winemaking Project for Vintage 2016. Here again we're talking about the Bathtub Shiraz. And in particular today we're talking about the process of clarifying wine. The process of natural sedimentation. So when we make the wine, it starts with all the grapes, the seeds, the skins, the stalks, a whole lot of yeast and bacteria in it. that are just natural yeast and bacteria. And we go through the process of pressing the wine to separate most of the solids from the liquid. But we end up with something that's initially quite murky in the barrel. And what it's got is all these little compounds, little yeast cells, little bits of grape, and they're all sort of hanging around and floating in the barrel. Uh, over time, they just start to naturally drop down out of the liquid and form a little bit of a layer along the bottom of the barrel. Then what we want to do to get rid of eventually all of these solids is decant the wine taking all of the clear liquids from the top of the barrel and leaving the solid stuff at the bottom and then just washing that out and getting rid of it. Same thing applies to the tank over here. All of these little bits will be in there, they'll all be falling down and forming a layer on the bottom of thick sludge really. So then we'll go about decanting all of the clear wine from the top of the tank and leaving the sludge in there to wash it out and get rid of it later. After we've done that, we'll put all the clear wine back in the barrel. There'll be only just a few fine little bits of solids in there rather than these massive amount of stuff in there and we'll allow that to settle again. It'll form a smaller layer of thick stuff along the bottom and we'll rack it again at some point to help clarify it. So that's the process of natural sedimentation. But there's another thing that happens when we go through this process of racking, as it's called, or decanting these big barrels and tanks off the solids that are in there to help clarify them. We transfer them all and blend them in this big tank behind me. What that is, allows us to do is bring all of the components together, allow them to start interacting with each other, helps us create more of a harmonious wine. And in the process of doing it, we also introduce a lot of oxygen, much more oxygen than we do by simply lifting a bung and topping a barrel up. And that oxygen will again help accelerate and advance the development of the wine. It will help bring it all together. So it starts shifting from this sort of gangly all over the shop arms and legs creature to something that's much more refined much more integrated and much more harmonious. It will take it from being yeah, the young teenager to more the old teenager. And then by the time we get to the point of bottling it and we've repeated this process of racking a couple of times, we'll have a much more together harmonious yummy wine uh, that'll be balanced, complex, have heaps of different flavours layered in. Yeah, we'll be in, in for a pretty yummy drink in the glass hopefully. Thanks for joining us at Wine Decoded again and we look forward to giving you another update about the bathtub winemaking project soon. If you've got any questions, any queries, please drop us a line in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and um, we'll catch you on the next round. Cheers.